Hello YouTube, I'm Music Kev and this is Pokemon Sun Blind Nuzlocke Challenge. I'm starting today in the Pokemon Center so you can see my new updated team due to the losses that occurred last episode. We have Beavis, um, is the, a new addition. Ma Magneton uh, named Polaroid is a new addition. And the Pangoro named Sahara is a new addition. So those three are going to be helping me carry through the next part of this little journey and hopefully we won't have any more deaths on our hands training with some of them i am very confident in their abilities um i think i've rounded my team out back to what it was prior to um the losses that happened previously and it's just useful to um like i still have a fighting type which is Sahara. I still have my electric type, which is Polaroid. And what was my other one? I'm sorry, it's been a while since I played, even though it seems like it just happened. And I, I'm very upset about the losses, but I've compensated for them as best I could. Ancient Pony Path is a new place, so I might be able to pick up a Pokemon that is actually actually, um, Alolan. I do have Marlin I could pull in. Good to see you too, Mudsdale. I'm looking fine for him. But I don't really like Raticate. Wow, Pokemon trainers really do amaze me. Seems like a hard path to walk, and even so, you don't let yourself be held back by the fear of seeing your Pokemon or friend gets, Pokemon friends get hurt. Just keep striving forward together. Until you lose half your team and you get super depressed about it. Oh yeah, Charlie got replaced by... Slow bro, because he's a water type. You brought Lily along too? It's good to see you, Hapu. You look different. You're like you're ready to go all out in something new. Thank you, Hapu. I finally discovered what I needed to do. This is my Z-powered form. Oh, then you do your best, Lily. No one could call you Lily Livered. I like the silence, because the joke was so bad. Um, so, Hapu, do you know where you can find the Kahuna? The Kahuna? Huh, don't have one here in Pony. What? Now what do we do, Music Kev? Huh, well I suppose that time might, might be right now. I finished up my battle against that odd little thing that appeared out of the sky. Alright, let us proceed to the ruins. You stick with me, you two. Do I... I think I only do have one more trial to go. If the count was right, I, someone's gonna have... You have to keep going. You're a trainer, aren't you? I suppose you always keep moving forward. Wait there. Eek. Did she faint? I'm sorry, I don't think we've been introduced. Oh, I'm Hoppo's old grand. Are you two friends with my girl? How do you guess? Oh, you teasing old woman, eh? Traveling around the islands, making new friends. You kids are luckier than you know. You want to be head for the Pony Island ruins? How about a trip help for this old gran? Here, hand over your ride, Pedro. Moment. <laughs> He's carrying me like a baby. That's hilarious. You need to move some big obstacles to make it down that path you two hope to travel. Wish you both a bright future. See, now I'm curious as to if I go back to some of the places. My Hapa was handed for the Ruin of Hope, wasn't she? Going after her. First, you'll come by Pony Breaker Coast. You'll know it by the soil. It's black as pitch. Go through there and you'll find the ruins. Thank you very much, ma'am. You've been a great help. So, the Ruins of Hope. I'd like to talk. That's where the P Guardian Pony Island will be. That's where Tapu Fini lives. Let's go. I think that's the only one that doesn't repeat the first syllable. Anyway, like I was about to say, um, after I beat this kahuna, or whatever the replacement for a kahuna is, because there's not one here on the island, I'm a champ, I plan to, um, oh, back door. I plan to go back and try to explore for things. Okay. Okay, so there's a mill tank. 
Rough ride. Is that Rock Rough trying to say something? Persola. That was that one was pink. Yeah, probably because it's different. It's another core. I wonder what her bed has in her. It. What? Uh oh. Oh my goodness! Ha! That's kind of funny. The Meowth jumped on me and gave me an awakening to wake me up. That... Okay, that was kind of cute. Unexpected. This is a nice little setup, too, for, like, a house. There's probably some hidden items over there, and I'm sure I can go find them later. And I don't... Like, I seriously think that I'm missing a lot of the uh, Zygarde pieces. Because at this point, you would think I would have 75, because that's three quarters of... 100? Anyway... Let's see what Pokemon I encounter in the Ancient Ruins. Granbull! He's a new Pokemon as far as my uh, count is concerned. As you can see, level 54 is the level that we've been going with here. Um, I trust him not to kill on one hit. You see, Slowbro is pretty good. Ooh. Slowbo's pretty good, but in my training of him, his EVs got messed up, so he's actually more offensive, wait, attack-wise than, wait, did I already catch a Gramble? Did I? I don't think I did. I'm throwing a Pokeball at him. If I find that I already caught one, then he might have been an illegal catch whenever I was just messing around. Oh, yeah, I think I illegally caught a few because, um, right now, oh, come on, dude. Right now, um, Pokemon is doing a thing with catch as many Pokemon as you can, and I wanted to participate a little bit. Help out, you know, I think everybody, if everybody playing the game catches a thousand Pokemon or something ridiculous like that within a three-month time, or one-month time frame, then good things happen for them. Anyway, we're gonna call Gramble. Jo Gramble. Um, we're gonna give him a nickname. We're gonna call him Jaws. Nope, it's a girl. I'm naming him after my puppy. I'm gonna name it Peaches, cause she also has an underbite, so it's Peaches. We're gonna just send her to a box for now. I'll work that out later. That's good. And just in case Gramble was an illegal catch. If Gramble was a re-catch, I'm going to throw a Pokeball at this guy too. And I'll sort it out as soon as I get back to the Pokemon Center. I'm not going to stop everything I'm doing to sort it out, but... Okay. And even if this is the illegal catch here... Thank you. Even if this is the illegal catch, I kind of want to eventually have one of these. Because I don't know if you saw that the executor in this game is new. Um, so eventually I will get a dragon. But that might be for a later play. If it really exec execute... I don't like how the games make it so long before you get to a um, get to a point where you can catch dragons. 
and this seems to be the Island of Dragons. Um, with Execute at least giving me that tip off, and the fact that I haven't seen any dragons up to this point. So, one of those two is an illegal catch. I think I'm going to sort that out. Well, it's going to be hard to find a um, Pokemon Center if Pony Wilds are as wild as they claim to be. I will nickname it just in case. Um, we're going to call her Jera. Because a long necked execute will look like a giraffe. So, Jera. Um, Alright, so with at least one of the Pokemon. You know what? I need to sort that out sooner rather than later. Because I don't want to. I don't want to be wrong or right and deal with um, trying to figure out which one was the illegal catch later. This is what happens whenever you take a while and have to level grind just by staring at a bajillion different Pokemon. Guys, you don't understand how long it took. I don't remember the last time I recorded. I legit don't. Okay. So, seeing as... Box one is okay. Where's my other illegal catch of the Gramble? I'm looking currently. Um, you know what? Cut this out. Okay, guys, now I remember what happened. Um, when I was messing around, I caught a Gramble because there was a trainer who wanted to trade it for something that they had. So I went ahead and did that, just for funds. Um, I'm not planning on using either of those Pokemon. So this Gramble that I caught was the legal catch. The illegal catch was Execute. So if I should see another Execute in the Pony Wilds in the future, I am allowed to catch it. Yeah, sorry, that's super confusing, but at least I know what's going on. And I'm accepting the fact that I'm not cheating. And this episode may be a little bit weird because I did that jump cut in the middle. Um, I'm not fighting a Pelipper right now. See ya. Aw, oh, come on, dude. Fine, I guess I'm fighting a Tet Pelipper. Oh, never mind. I accidentally hit round instead of fight. He looks like a football player, like, running, about to tackle somebody. It's kind of great. I do like Gramble as a Pokemon. I don't think I ever actually used him. So... Aside from the fact that he's not a low end, I would probably use him if I didn't already have a strong fairy type in my team. Though, Gramble could... I think Gramble's a little bit stronger than Riombi on principle. But I kind of like Tattle, just because it's adorable. I'm going to do this the fast way. Okay, so it wants me to go that way, but what's up? The Pony Canyon. Okay. I think I'm going to go where it wants me to go because I'm sh confident that I'll eventually find the other way. How do I get over there? Oh. Okay, now I'm at Pony Breaker Coast. Ha! Hi, buddy. Okay, let's see that I'm hopefully high enough level right now. Turtonator. I remember this guy. This is a fire dragon type. Which makes Beavis the perfect match. Oh, 
he he's going first I get it it's a shame that you'd use that twice and didn't get to show up any of your moves I really hope I catch a turtonator it might end up replacing somebody I'm not sure who but if I catch one it's totally going on my team Drampa. Huh. I think this is also a, a um, dragon type. But I'm not sure what his secondary typing is. Uh oh. Huh. Impressive. And I'm more impressive. I wonder if he gets stronger with every attack. Or if he just gets stronger whenever he hits half damage. Um, other things that are going on, just so you know. Um, still in the same route, so doesn't count. Um, I put two of my Pokemon, two of my backup Pokemon, I should say, on an island in Pokepalago, and they're currently training their speed. Um, it is... Our friend Arrow... Uh-oh. Hold on a second. This might be serious. Uh, can we go away now, please? Thank you. Um, our friend Aerodactyl and our friend Bruce Wayne. So should I need to make another replacement, at least those two will be ideally leveled. I know, it's so interesting watching me do this part, but... The other nice thing about Poke Palago is that it lets you um, grow berries. And because the two berries that are the most useful are... Um, there is so much stuff here. Okay, I think I'm just going to go to where I'm supposed to go, and then I'll do my exploring. Like I said before. Um, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. It'll come back to me. Um, yeah. So, the other thing is I'm growing citrus berries and lepa berries. Because lepa berries are PP restoring moves, which is going to be useful, especially if I have to fight, like, a lot of people at once. Like, I might with the Elite Four whenever it happens. Or whatever the version of the Pokemon League is, I'm pretty sure it's going to be an Elite Four. Um... So the Lepa Berries will be useful to restore the PP of moves. Oh, it's an Alolan. Or it's a Cantus Sanitro. And the other one I've been growing is Citrus Berries. So basically I have unlimited supply of healing items. And I don't need to worry about buying them. Which really lets me free up my money for buying Pokeballs and the like. As well as, um... What's it called? Um, the thing, the other Geo dude, yep. Uh, TMs. It lets me buy TMs too, which I did buy a lot of. Because, honestly, with the TMs, oh, of course he has Sturdy. I hope he doesn't use. I would have actually preferred him use Double Edge, because he would have gotten hit with Recoil. But the TMs are useful because you never know when you want to teach yourself, teach your Pokemon a certain move. Okay. You just keep hitting them with Scald. Yes, I did put a quick call claw on a Slowbro because it's funny, and it's actually the best Pokemon to put it in because he's least likely to go first. Ha! I burned him. So it goes down to the burn now. See ya, buddy. I don't like how slow that last hit point disappears. See, I still like the new Volpix better than the old one. I was talking about to someone about that earlier. They didn't like the new Volpix, but I think that they're wrong. Very pretty, um... Pretty white fox with like, I like the different hairdo too.
All right. And that's curious. I wonder what that geyser does. I have a feeling that something's gonna happen if I go that way. I think I'm gonna go that way and then come back to here if I wanna catch anything in the ocean or the, um... Oh, these are the Ruins of Hope, gotcha. Okay. I hope I don't have to fight the, uh, Tapu. The Ruins of Hope, what is this place? The air feels so oppressive. But if we go in there, maybe Nebi will return to normal. People begin to believe the guardian deity of these ruins, Tapu Fini, can wash away any impurities with its mystic water. That sounds promising. That's right, it does, Musikev. And give it a my all so we can return Nebi back to normal. Just you wait, Nebi. This time I'm going to be the one that saves you. Come on, Music Kev, let's go. Okay, so... This Tapu is a water type. If we're going to break a path, we're going to need to move these huge wands. That's what Happy Grandmother said, isn't it? Of course you're not going to be able to move it, Lily. I need to use my champ. It's obvious. It's heavier than words can express. Okay. To bother my champs for it, use the strength of this. I read this in a book. If I remember right, it said, getting arrived from a powerful machamp is going to activate the shove by person. You read that in a book. If you find yourself getting frustrated, you should remember to step outside again for a bit of perspective. So step outside to reset the puzzle. Okay. Okay, this is, this is an easy part. It's clear what I have to do. This feels very Legend of Zelda-esque, and I like it. Okay. Now we're going to move you. Okay, and then we're going to move you this way. I think. Yeah, because to get back, I just kind of do the opposite. Easy. Next. Oh, come on. That's all? I've read about them, you know? The little straight sacred ruins and the guardian deities worship within them. Whenever they, they go where they want, and it's not easy to meet them, according to the books I've read. But they are sometimes summoned here at the ruins. They do appear. Books say they are well capricious. And cows with them do not always end as you hope they will. Maybe that explains why even coming here to these ruins hasn't even evoked any response from Nebi. Maybe I should have bought more Ultra Balls. I wonder if I'm going to have to encounter him. There's Hapu. Because he would be the first Pokemon I ran into at the Ruins of Hope. Is Hapu the Katuna? I give my thanks. I give my thanks for your great blessing. As Kahuna, I will do best for my other people. In the Pokemon of Alola, she's the Kahuna. Since when? So you two were watching? The Kahunas are chosen by the Pokemon we worship here in Alola, our sacred guardians. They are chosen from among the people living on the island each guardian watches over. You really told me you're pretty too new to our parts, eh, Music Kev? You came from Alola from far off? It must really be something, then. I heard how you were given a sparkling stone by the Tapu, even as a stranger to our shores. My grandfather. My grandfather was also chosen for this honor. The honor of being our island's Kahuna. But he died suddenly some years back, and we were left without a Kahuna on Pony. Tried to follow his footsteps, but I was not chosen by Tapu back then. 
So I sent my own sort of island challenge, traveling to Lola and trying to grow stronger. Lily? The kahuna you wish to meet is right here. Of course. Please then, Kahuna Hapu, tell me about the legendary Pokemon. So you want to know about Solga Leo, who we pay tribute to at the Altar of the Sun. They spelled sun wrong. My mother's disappeared into the beast world. I know she was a terrible person, but she is still my mother. I need to see her again to tell her something. That's why I asked the legendary Pokemon for its help. Legendary Pokemon is the only one who can go back and forth between worlds. World of beasts, eh? Is that the thing that came to Pony Island? A beast? Tapu Fini and I tried to fight it, but we nearly did us both in. We did not stand a chance. It's still around then. Alright, I'll tell you what I know. Well, thank you, Hapu. But what I know is not much. Just that there's a ceremony held for the legendary Pokemon at the altar. A ceremony that uses two particular flutes to somehow give the legendary Pokemon power. This is the moon flute. It seems my mother had it. Huh, that looks to be the flute that used to reside on the lake on Ula Ula. The other is said to be on the held on Executor Island. I do not want, know why there of all places, but it has been passed down, and that's where it belongs. Executor Island. I think I've read about it before. It's an uninhabited island off the coast of Pony, isn't that right? And no reason to dally there. Let's go speak with the Sea Folk's chief. Lily, you take Mudsdale. We'll proceed to Sea Folk visit village. Interesting, the plot thickens. Alright, so I guess we're not doing much on Pony Island right now? Because... Oh, I guess I don't need to do that. I guess we're not doing much on Pony Island right now because reasons? Um, I'm going to see if there's anything going to happen to me as I leave. And then I think I'm going to do some exploration here on the island. Um... Yeah, before I jump over to Executor Island, I'm going to do some exploration here. I want to know why that's erupting. And how to act with it. Alright, in the meantime, I think what I'm just going to do is catch a Pokemon here in the fishing hole. And this will be the last thing you see me do on stream. So, rem or not stream, but on this video. So remember to stick around for Artistico, and I'm saying it right. It's Whalmer! Cool, I think I'm going to go ahead and catch this guy. <clears throat> so I'm catching it. Remember to stick around for Artistico. Um, next episode, I think I'm going to just spend some time exploring Pony Island. And then the following episode will be likely going to Executor Island and pushing forward the story. Okay, so Amnesia raised its special defense two stages, so Scald will not hurt it as much. And of course you crit him. Well, we're not catching a Pokemon this route. I'm Music Kev, and this has been Pokemon Sun. Stick around for Artistical. See you next time. Hello, YouTube. It's Artistico. Before I headed to Hapu's place, but after my training, I stopped by a shop to get some new duds on. Well, they're not exactly new. It's all stuff I've worn before. But I had to change. I'm also back to my bob haircut and my watermelon purse. Ha, huh, nostalgia. Well, it's off to the ruins of hope, but not before catching an execute. Oh boy. This thing. I'm naming it Top Heavy. Because seriously, that's what it is when it evolves. Well, I guess I'll just go on and follow Hapu around for a while. Oh, fun fact! When I first saw Hapu's grandmother at the gravesite on the other island, and she gave me fling, I saw that Mchamp had those gold gloves on. Based on the story she was telling about the loss of her husband in a car wreck, very sad by the way, I thought that when he had flung out Mchamp, it lost two of its arms and got prosthetics or something. Now I know that's just another ride Pokemon, and those are yellow gloves like a saddle. Okay, so that wasn't a fun fact, but whatever. Nice backstory for Pony Island, as sad as it is. And I'm willing to bet Musikev didn't explore enough to discover this story, so that's what I'm here for. To tell you sad stories. Um, Quick, Artistical, think of something happy. I can't end the video like this. You know what? No. Pokemon includes these deeper, heavier stories in it, and as much as I like happier things and lighter stories, there's something to be said of this kind of story. The darker turns, the emotional expressions, I like it. 
Ever read the letters in the sunken ship of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby? That's something I really liked in that game. 